The tests are quizzes. Next actions need to be done only by, uh, you know, one person per firm. You don't all have to complete next actions, but all of the students in the program, by default, you get three student logins. Many firms opt to uh, get additional student logins for the, for the learning, and it's a very cost-effective way for you to clock up not that the aim is to clock up, but let's be real, uh, clock up additional hours with continuing professional development or CPE, CPD, whatever you and your affiliated organizations like to call that. So let's read what it says. Tests, select a test from the menu to the right, etc. Each test has 10 questions. You must score at least 80% in each test to receive a personal certificate of completion at the program's conclusion. So that is personal so just for you you've got to do all 10 tests and you've got to get at least 80 percent why 80 percent well as we say here they are readily completed by anyone who attended the class like they're not getting you to do further research and to um, really test you out we're not trying to achieve a bell curve here of um, you know low passes to high we just want to make sure like 50 percent let's wake up 50% is not good enough in the real life anyway. If you get a set of accounts 50% right, I think you're in trouble and your client's not happy and nor would other organizations like, I don't know, ASIC. <laughs> so that's why we've got it at 80%. So um, you can read the rest there. It's fairly straightforward once you get used to it. So here you click module one, your radar. So whereas when we're in videos and we click module one, your radar, we don't see a video because here we're in tests, you see the quiz. So the first two questions are easy. If you can't answer those, you're in trouble. But let me just, just joking, of course. <laughs> I'll enter my email. So you've got to enter that before you can continue. So click continue. And these, unlike next actions where you're just reporting in, these are actually tests. It's like, it's a quiz. So what is the definition of client share? And then you then click, ha ha, you thought I was gonna give you the right answer. You'll have to figure that out for yourself. And you just go through, and at the end of the quiz, it will tell you your score straight away. You'll also get an email with your score, and so will we. Not only that, the data will go into the student database in the background. So we're doing this to support your implementation, to give you um, some milestones to keep up with. And let's face it, if you read something, if you learn something with the intention to either teach others or to pass a test, I think your attention and your retention and your understanding will be higher. So that's the tests. If you get less than 80%, which you know is not a pass, you can just do it again. Uh, you know, you don't fail, just do it again. It will show you which ones you got wrong. You can then go back into either the slides or the video and just check out the answer because it might be you know something slight that you didn't quite get. I just mentioned something there, the slides. Apart from the videos to watch, for reviewing things, if you wanna look at the slides, in the downloads area, scrolling down here, you'll see that there are slides and next actions for all the different modules. So that makes it really handy. If you just wanna get a PDF document that is just the slides and you don't wanna watch the video again. But I must say, the way that we do our slides um, is in a way that is designed to teach you more, designed not to kill you, you know, pepper you with a, a spray of bullet points. Though, you know, we do have plenty in that there as well. What I'm saying is there's plenty of slides that when you look at them on the PDF, there are not many words. But when you listen to them on the video, there was a fair bit said. So just keep that in mind. But both the videos and the PDFs of the slides are of use. Okay, so we've gone home, videos, downloads, next actions, tests. We briefly mentioned forums, but let's just go into that so that you're clear that is with the existing system, even though you already have a username and login, the first time you go to, let's say you go into the, a particular question to do with a particular module, let's say module one, you can in here, if you want to ask something completely new, you click new topic, either at the top or the bottom. Or if you click something that's already in there, you can click reply under any of these posts. So 
Nice one, Louisa. She does look a bit like that. Um, click reply, that's specific to that entry. I would highly recommend that you subscribe to a topic. This button is currently saying unsubscribe from this topic. You will, by default, want to subscribe to a topic, which means if someone then posts a reply, they enter something in here later, you'll get an email with a link to quickly come back. So that just makes sense. You want to know when someone replies without having to think, oh, better go back in and check. That's so fairly standard um, forum functionality. We do have in the pipe work, a uh, pipeline, pipe work, one of those, <laughs> a brand new platform that we're incredibly excited about. Now you might think, well, the Client Share Academy is just new anyway. Uh, you know, this is leading edge stuff. No one in the accounting and related, you know, financial advisory industries is doing anything close to this. Um, and that's not to boast, that's just to tell it how it is. But there are some things in here that we don't like and members have said, mm, gee, that's a few too many clicks. With my background in uh, technology, if something takes three clicks and it should really only take one click, that's not good enough as far as I'm concerned. So consider what you're looking at here. Client Share Academy 1.0, meaning the first version. We have Client Share Academy 2.0, platform already selected. We're going to move the content across, but it will just be more obvious. Instead of having things grouped by videos, downloads, next actions, there will be tabs across the top that is simply based on the modules. It'll be much more intuitive, you know, much more obvious to find where you're going. So let's say when you're on module one tab, on that one tab will be the videos, the next actions, the downloads, the tests, and the ability to ask questions on that module right there and then in that tab. Sounds kind of obvious, huh? <laughs> but it wasn't obvious at all when we were initially developing this platform because that's the thing with innovation. It's a double-edged sword and you experiment, you get feedback and you continue to improve. And that's what we do. And that's what we encourage our clients to do in the Client Share Academy. Now, um, Back to the tricky thing, you will need to fill out a little profile the first time you go to do a post. So don't get uh, overwhelmed by that. You just enter your name, your email address. You don't have to enter the avatar, which means a little image, but if you go to the trouble, it means the avatar is the image that we see out to the left here. If you don't enter an avatar, let me show you an example. It doesn't matter, it just means that when someone does an entry, without an avatar. Oh, you're gonna do your logo? Oh, Steph is very shy, doesn't like showing a face. <laughs> um, it just means there won't be a picture out there to the left. Make sense? So that's just an overall introduction. If you have any questions at all and you want to ask us, go to the forums. If it's about, gee, I can't get started with the forums, email us at grow at practiceparadox.com.au. That's grow at practiceparadox.com.au. We encourage use of the forums not so that you don't email us, so that we're constantly capturing the knowledge and sharing the knowledge across all members. So if you do that, other members do that, you will personally benefit and learn more and implement faster and get the results, which is ultimately all about helping your clients more and in the process, having more fun doing it and just more satisfaction. You know, it is more satisfying to think about something in front of you rather than being a job or a set of accounts as being a family that you are making a difference to because you're considering where they want to go in their life and not just what they've asked you to do. And they've only asked you to do it because the government is making them do it, but the things that you look at wider and think, okay, we need to protect that. We need to plan for that. They're going to love you for it. The nice paradox is they will end up paying you far more as a firm than they will if you just do their compliance work anyway. Compliance is critical. We're not downplaying compliance, but you need to do more than that with your clients. If you're not in a role, like let's say you're in a marketing admin role where you're not advising clients, still applies. Everyone needs to be on board with the whole mindset around client share growth, doing more with clients, and the fact there is a moral obligation in your role, knowing what you know of your clients, to do all you can to give them a happy, safe, prosperous future. But that's nothing to do with how to use this interface, so I'll wrap up now. 
I trust that has been of use, this guided tour. Let us know. Can't wait to hear your feedback. Most importantly, see your next actions and your tests come through. Get stuck into it and enjoy.